and welcome back to another episode of Bad Station Works where we work on Chauvin and this time we are going to look, have a look at the wheel bearings in the front suspension. So the parts I had to borrow for the XC70 is this bottom lower ball joint. I uh, bought a new one and while I was at Biltema I also bought a new wheel bearing. The old wheel bearing was okay-ish but kind of old and I could hear or feel mainly that it was not the best situation, not the best state anymore. Um, so I replaced that, gonna put this back on the car, but something worrying uh, happened like a while ago where I got a message after explaining something on Chauvin from somebody and later on two very like unrelated people said to me, watch out, these wheel bearings fall apart if there is no drive shafts in them. Uh, so they are wheel bearings from a front wheel driven car, both front and rear suspension setups and parts are from a Volvo S60, two Volvo S60s to be precise. The engine is in the back, the rear wheels are driven, but the front wheels aren't, uh, but they come from a car that is front wheel driven. So the wheel bearings have a spline, as you can see here, nicely with the light. Uh, that's where the drive shaft normally goes in. And then there is a long bolt that goes from this side and the drive shaft from this side and the bolt from this side are supposed to keep everything together. That's what I've been told. And I was like, that feels weird, but let's try it. Uh, I'll just drive with it. And then afterwards, when I have time, I'll figure out if it's actually necessary to uh, address this problem. Addressing it would be making a fake drive shaft or cutting a drive shaft off or making an aluminum whatever that applies the same forces as does originally with the drive shaft in place. That would be the solution. But before going into all this trouble, I decided to um, cut open the original wheel bearing that was on the car uh, before I replaced them. and investigate and check it out and look at it together with you guys. So let's head over to the workbench where I have the cut open wheel bearing. So there we are. This is the wheel bearing from the Volvo P2 model, the Volvo S60 to be precise, and it's a front wheel bearing. Uh, here you see the spline where normally the drive shafts attach to, and this is the wheel side. So down is the wheel side and the car is on that side. Now I'm actually turning the car, <laughs> but this was the, the easiest part to clamp in the vise. But this is normally what rotates, and it rotates like this. So there is a double row of, uh, of um, what's it called? Wheel bear? No, bearing balls? Ball bearings? Ball, ball bearing ball? Blah, 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 blah. And they run on this race, that's the, the actual wheel. As you can see here, if I try to move it up and down, well, there is a little bit of play because I, I hacked the thing in two parts, but it doesn't move. It can't physically can't go that way because this black part is uh, is retaining it, and it also can't go down because well, there's this big steel part. So this physically, it's impossible for this part to 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 come apart. Only if like the balls magically disappear or completely grind to dust, then the, the bearing might be able to fall apart. So how these things are put together, I think. Um, I'm not sure, but if this black, this part I marked black, is part of the, the bearing race, 
And what I think is that in the factory, they put this together like this. This goes over like this. And then they slide over this part, but they can't do it right now. So that well, goes like this. And this part here, this little lip here before assembly or during assembly, this is up like this. And then after inserting the, the actual bearing and this separate part, they peen, is it peening? Yeah. Then they peen over this part here to create this, this little lip. This little lip closes in this hardened part because this is uh, part of the bearing surface and it needs to be hardened. Uh, this part is probably also hardened because that's where the uh, the balls run on. So um, yeah, this this encloses everything, locks it together, and nothing can ever move again. Uh, if I look at the the top, and if I look at this bearing from the top, just ignore the three D scanning dots. Uh, you can see here that there is like hammer marks. I don't think they physically peened over this with a hammer, but there is probably some kind of device that goes up and then just yeah, pins over this edge to create this little lip. The newer wheel bearings that I have, uh, they look a little bit different. They don't have this these like hammer marks, uh, but they have a lot of heat marks on the inside. So you can see here on the inside, it's a little bit, there on the inside, you can see a ring of discoloration. And I think they heat it up with some kind of like, what's it called, induction heating, and then use a press to just pin over this edge and lock everything in place. So this, the black part you saw before is here. It's this little bit darker gray, or a little bit different colored gray stuff. And this is the, the actual part that moves. So that is, that's it about the wheel bearing. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I think physically this wheel bearing can never fall apart uh, with or without a drive shaft in place. So that's it. If you ever wondered how uh, a wheel bearing looks like on the inside, here you go. And um, please leave a comment what you think about my assumption, I guess, or my conclusion in this video about how this goes together and that it can't un-go together, <laughs> so to say. Anyway, this was a short video this time. A um, lot of talking. Like and subscribe. Next time will be probably will be a little bit longer format video with a little bit more doing and less talking. Thanks for watching. Bye.